Welcome again. We are here at Musuzu Division. Uh, we are hosting Lieutenant Colonel Edward Shavanga, who is retiring today. Um, to give us a brief head straight to the Yes, good afternoon. I am Edward Shavanga, Lieutenant Colonel, Lieutenant Commander of Suzu. I have served it for three years in Suzu Division, and I want to thank God for the far he has taken me. Um, the first question. Yes, I've sat for 41 years. And through the 41 years, through the 41 years, I have made the challenges of cultures and the traditions of different people. And through the challenges I have made, I have discovered that through prayer, things do change. That's why I have succeeded. And then, um, have you ever met a difficult situation where if you ever met such a situation, how did you go about it? Yes, in our ministry, I have made many difficulties. What made me to succeed is prayer and the perseverance made me to succeed in my service. Um, have you ever had to, had to make difficult decisions in your service? Yes, I've made difficult decisions in my service concerning my officers, my pastors. Whenever they have come problems, they do come to me to assist them in counseling and supporting them physically and financially. Uh, in your service, I'm sure you had to work out in tight deadlines, maybe something supporting you at a certain date and let a little bit. How did you do this substitution? Yeah. In such a situation I've been dealing with, maybe if I find myself um, in a difficult situation and I uh, have limited time, what I was doing is that uh, I could call my colleagues or my leaders to support me in one way or another. Um, Yes, it has been a long journey since I started my service in 1982 when I was ordained as a pastor. Then I was commissioned to go in the field, and in the field for 41 years. There are many challenges in my services. Uh, some challenges I went through. Uh, what made me to succeed is prayer and the perseverance. And uh, it has been a long journey. Uh, and I want to thank God for giving me good health uh, and uh, strength to serve Him in this ministry. So I just want to say, through perseverance and the prayer, made me to succeed. Um, now that the service is over, what's the next step? Yes, as I come to my retirement today, now I'm heading to go home to be a father and a guardian and a village, a village ma. Uh, I'm going also to serve God there as a counselor and also to support those who have, who have, who have difficulties uh, in the village uh, so that we can be good citizens of Kenya. The 41 years is a long time. 
appreciate your service, my minister. And a word of advice to the junior officers who are still coming back. Yes, the junior officers who are coming, uh, my advice to them is that they need to focus. They need to have that focus so that they can serve people in a good way. And also they need to have that perseverance. That perseverance. And also they need to commit them into prayer all the time. Because prayer, if you pray, then you succeed in everything. Yeah. Thank you for that. We wish you well to go on in the journey of the, your retirement from the service. And we shall visit you some other time. Uh, I thank you very much for coming. Uh, I also wish you uh, good luck. And also may God be with you whenever you travel and do some coverage so that it can be history to some of us. Thank you, God bless you. Meet again. Welcome back, guys. I'm joined by Honorable Charles Alou, who is a contestant of the MCA seat, Shamaho Ward, Shiru Ward. Apologies. So he'll give us a brief introduction, then he'll give us an overview of the service that they've had under the ministry. Mr. Edward Shabana. Okay, as you heard, I'm Anudu Charles and uh, I'm a celebrationist. We are here to give our our bishop a good uh, farewell. And uh, he has been he has served uh, in this uh, uh, church for 41 years. He has been a good one. He has made us proud. We've been uh, taking number one in everything, in giving in uh, everything and uh, I think uh, since I joined Salvation Army this is the biggest and the largest uh, service we've had and I just want to wish him uh, good life and uh, uh, let him be remain there to be an advisor for us. Thank you. I'm here sub for Muslim Division for around three years. Yeah. Can you give us an highlight of what major things he has done? He has done, he has improved in uh, giving, um, self-denials, and uh, people now, they know what to, to, to give. It's not by forcing. He has helped us to show us, and uh, people are just giving willingly. Okay, maybe economically or spiritually, how has he lifted up the people of Spiritually, he has lifted very high, and he was born here. That's why you see people have turned in large numbers from this community. He has touched us so strongly. Anything that will mark his service that he has done that maybe everyone will remember him by? It is by making us to be where we are as a Salvation Army, Musuzu Division. We've been number one in the whole territory. And, and we were number 100, number 80. So we will rem remember him uh, on that. Okay, thank you. Thank you, sir. Yeah. Welcome back. I'm joined by Lieutenant Colonel Nebo with the Director of the Education Department of Wamepiga vita vikali tumetoka nao mbali tukiwa Kenya territory tukiwa East Africa Kenya territory mpaka tumeleta Kenya West territory na wamefanya kazi wamekuwa watumishi wa kujitolea wenye watu kujifunza kwao katika matoleo wamekuwa mstari wa mbele katika kila jambo wamekuwa mstari wa mbele na ninaomba Mungu akawaongoze wanapoenda nyumbani wasije wakakosa kumtumikia Mungu maana mwendo ungali mrefu wamtumikie Mungu sawa sawa na mapenzi yake Mungu atawabariki na Mungu atawalinda kwa hivyo mimi kama mmoja wao nawaambia kustaafu ni kuzuri hakuna stress Mungu atawasaidia na Mungu atawalinda pamoja na, na watoto wao kwa hayo machache ambayo nimezungumza Mungu akaweza kuwabariki na pia nawaambia hongera